Okay, so <laughs> I did a Studio Mate video. Um, I was on it for about an hour and 50 minutes painting uh, Jacob Toby, sorry, painting Jacob Tobias's uh, portrait, the one I talked about a few vid videos ago, really thinking it was still running. The iPad was still running and we were uh, painting together or working together. Unfortunately, like at 48 minutes in, I looked at it and said, oh, we're just going to paint a little bit longer. I just figured we'd keep working together as long as the iPad was working. But somewhere in there, sorry, somewhere in there the video shut off. The iPad stopped working. So um, we just lost an hour together or 50 minutes together or some time. And I apologize. Sorry, I'm still working. I'm getting to a fun point in the painting where I've already laid down, I've laid down the basic shapes. I've actually put uh, flower shapes in Jacob's dress or blouse. I'm not sure which it is. I'm going to assume it's a dress. And uh, let me see, I've already put in the, sorry, I love painting. Um, I've already put in the basic shapes, as you can see, for the roses in, in, in the blouse or, or dress and uh, started putting in the stems that go to the roses. It's this fabulous print probably from the 70s. It's um, got a 40s feel, but it's definitely not a 40s dress. He's always got this, or they always have, uh, to, uh, Jacob always has this really quirky sense of fashion. And it's working. Um, but I'm a little confused by it. Okay, not confused. A neighbor was walking by my window, so I just lost my words. Anyway. Um, I'm not confused by it. I'm, I'm um, excited by it, actually. The mix of colors and textures and the uh, just the completely eccentric style uh, Jacob has. Doop. Sorry if I keep painting while I'm talking, but I love this part. I'm now taking it from basic shapes to formalizing those shapes and formalizing some of the colors. Like I sprayed in the, the roses and the rose leaves, but I've gone around the edge of them with oil pastel. And someone had asked me a while ago if I mixed the pastel with anything to soften it. Sometimes I, and I didn't answer them and I apologize. Sometimes I use um, mineral spirits and then sometimes I just leave them as is because I get so excited I just don't care. And that's what happened here is I just went, no, I just want to draw. I want to draw. I want to draw on it. And that's what I did. So I went around the outer edges and made just sharp lines here and there for to indicate the roses. And now, I guess, I'm so ridiculous. I just want to keep painting. Um, so now I'm putting in the, the basic shapes of the lapel the shape of the dress, and I also just started doing darkening up um, points in the portrait, uh, the hair, really formalizing lines, that one's too low, formalizing lines in their hair, formalizing lines in the brow, with a mix of blue and transparent earth red. by the company that shall will not be named because I'm still mad at them. And I'm mixing it with Mineral Spirits and the company that shall not be named, their medium. <laughs> there goes my neighbor again. They're walking by. The neighbors are putting in a new washing machine and tile and they keep walking by my window. It's a little disconcerting. But anyway, just because I like privacy. So here we are, we're just putting in some of the dark colors. I put, started, um, I put a little bit of light in Jacob's eyes. Um, sometimes I make the mistake of doing the eyes and then adding the white afterwards. And I remember I did this with um, Ali Pisha, a portrait of Ali Pisha that I had done a while ago. I've never gotten over it. I don't feel I did did Ali uh, 
the drag queen Ali Pisha back in Providence. I don't feel I did them justice, so I'm going to redo it. It did not turn out the way I liked because I didn't address the whites in time. I waited till afterwards and then went bink, bink, and it was just not right. Ali Pisha had on a vinyl suit, a vinyl outfit, and um, I added the whites too late. So they look glopped on, and then the suit just lost its vigor. So this time I added the whites ahead of time, the whites of their eyes. And I think with Ally too, um, I didn't work in quiet layers and give things time to sit and let my mind sit. Because I love painting fast. It's, it's exciting to me. It's an adventure, and I want to eat as much of the adventure or go on as much of the, as, of the adventure as I possibly can, as fast as I can. And just enjoy every minute, and then move on to the next adventure. But I'm trying with Jacob. I think it would be smarter to go a little slower more methodically. Address each light and dark. Address each little detail with thoughtfulness instead of speed and excitement. Tobias is already full of speed and excitement in their personality. They're full of joy and drive. And I do not want to um, <laughs> the garage door is open, so there we are. I just I don't want to um, push their personality out of the way with my excitement, my overexcitement to paint and to paint more and to paint quickly. I think that's a disservice. So, I'm just going to try and take my time with the lights and darks. Oh, come on. No, I gotta lift, lift the lips. They're too low. This is the, one of the things I love about live painting, or painting in a, in a time video, or in a studio video. Because I get to show people all the mistakes I make and how I reshape things, because it's part of the fun. I don't look at, at um, having to readjust the face of the figure as much a problem or a failure as I do part of the adventure of painting. I love that feeling when I go, oh, I found that spot where the lips have to sit. I found the shape of the nose and where the nostrils, where the nostrils lie. Um, I, I just find it so exciting. Get finding the correct shape of the hair. Like Tobias has this great 40s do. I've kind of overdone it right here too high. I just love being able to find the person in, in the canvas. Let me, see. let me set, let me put the two canvases together so you can see. And then I think there's something else I need to do today. That's where we are right now. It is most likely that I'll be back at this tonight, but this, yeah, this is where we are. I think I, I really did the, um, the blouse too high. Um, but I'm going to work with it anyway. There's always a way. Uh, I know that there's more photos on, on Instagram of, of Jacob in this uh, particular outfit. So I'm going to find one so that extends, that helps me to extend the torso in a meaningful way instead of me just trying to figure out how to make it work. His nose is not right. Anyway, 
there really is something else I have to do today. I've got to take Bugsy out for a walk. Um, it's a day off. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. This will be my second video of the day. I've painted um, and done some other things. I need to go refocus myself by paying attention to my dog <laughs> because he's about to turn 14 and we're not going to have a lot of days like this you know where he's he's uh, healthy and can walk so we're gonna go I need to spoil him and thank him for being a relentlessly good friend and uh, a relentlessly good um, a good being in my life. He's helped me through so many situations, so I need to give thanks by taking him outdoors would be good. Anyway, blah, 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 blah. Time to take off. Sorry about the uh, studio maintenance in another state, state not working out. Maybe, maybe we'll try later tonight. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But this is uh, Jacob Tobias, and I'm Beck Lane from Studio 120. Whatever. Ciao.